Alrighty, hello everybody. This is Uncle Shadow's Let's Red bringing you another top five. Honestly, I'm gonna start doing these top fives every weekend, so you'll see a top five every Saturday or Sunday. And these will just be the top five things I I have more I want to make. So there'll be different top fives, and this week's top five is on the top five most anticipated fighting games I'm looking for, looking forward to this year. Now let's get on to it. Number five. The fifth most anticipating fighting game I'm looking forward to this year is Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. Now I know a lot of you people are like, but Shannon, you said you don't like Naruto in your last Cyber Connect 2 rant video. I, I am, but what got me intrigued about this is I want you to back it up. Because this I didn't know about until after a few days later is that they're adding three, they're adding a tag team system to it. So that got me intrigued into buying it. So, so yeah, I'm really been looking forward to that. I really want them to implement a tag team system because Ultimate Ninja Storm Generations, which a few fans did too, and it's something I'm really liking that they're implementing a tag team system which is reminiscent of Naruto Clash of Ninja. Now, now if we can just get 3v3 online battle royales, I would love it. They can't say it can't be done because they did something similar in Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution in the story mode. So they can do it with the PlayStation in 4 with 3v3 online battles. I would love it. That would just be, oh my god, glorious. So yeah, Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 gets my four get my gets my fifth spot on on my top five for most anticipated fighting games for 2015. Number four. The this game is a game that's that was just announced to come out in the US, I believe, during the uh, Jump Festa. Uh, and it is known as Denkin Banku Fighting Climax. Hope I pronounced that right. But it's a fighting game that combines a bunch of light novel characters into one fighting game, such as Shauna from Shakugan no Shauna, Misika, Misika from um, certain, imag certain Magical Index and, and Certain Scientific Railgun, and, um, and Shizuo from Duela. It's just to say it's going to be a great fighting game. It has a 2D fighting style and it looks like it plays a lot like blaze blue and guilty gears which i like both a lot so it looks looks totally fun down to the regular attacks to combos to special attacks it just looks like it looks really good and i like the art style they did with it where they drew where they drew them like their light novel character not more like their anime characters which is real time I really like. So I'm really looking forward to this game. And it looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun and a good time killer. Time killer. So yeah, Daikin Banku Fighting Climax gets my number fourth spot for top for most anticipated fighting game for twenty fifteen. Number three. This game is a game I actually bought in Japanese last year, and it is J Star's Victory versus J Shark Victory vs. This year we're getting it in America as J Shark Victory vs. Plus. And I'm really looking forward to this game. I'm so glad that they're finally bringing it to America. And one of the things I'm liking is that they said we might get a Switch roster that's different than the Japanese version. Because some of the licensing because some of the licensing issues with certain characters in the Japanese version might not be able to come over, so they might switch them out with other characters. Which is something I'm really liking that they're doing. Also, um, also what I'm really liking is that, um, is that, is that they're adding, uh, it, it's that, that they're adding it to the PS4, which it makes me super excited because when it came out in Japan, it only came out on the PS3 and PlayStation Vita. Now we're getting on the PlayStation 4 in America, that even gets me more exciting because that means we'll have, uh, that means it will run at 60 frames per second and I will just love to see it in this voice, see glory. And this is a fighting game that's just like Dinkin. Banku fighting climax, but the difference between it is, and that is, this the this is the 3D fighter, and it actually combines Shonen Jump characters all in one fighting game. This combines characters such as Goku, Luffy, uh, uh, Naruto, Ichigo, 
just a bunch of different Shonen Jump characters all in one, all in, all in one 3D fighting game, fighting it out against each other. I recommend, I recommend you, you guys getting this game when it comes out in the U.S. this year. Five J Stars Victory Versus Plus gets my number three spot on my most anticipated fighting games for 2015. Number two, the number two most anticipated fighting game I'm anticipating for this year. Well, it hasn't really been announced that it's going to come out this year on consoles, but I'm really hoping it does. And that is Poke Fighter Tournament. But I'm really looking forward to Poke Tournament. And it's a Pokemon fighter that uses the Tekken engine. And it really looks really fun. It looks looks like it will play really great I'm really looking forward to uh really looking forward to playing it and I'm really hoping it gets a Wii U release this year hopefully announced the A3 this year for the US because I would love to play this and play as Lucario or or uh, or, or Suicune and beat up people and one of the things I'm liking is that it one thing I'm liking is that it uses the Tekken engine but also has special attacks which is uh which is which is reminiscent of Street Fighter and it looks like, oh my god, glorious. I cannot wait for this game. It looks so fun. I mean, there hasn't, there really hasn't been a Pokemon fighting game ever before until now. And this is, unless you count the fan-made one, but this is actually an official-made game by the Pokemon company and the Nintendo. So this is game, this is one of the games I'm looking forward to in 2015. Number one. The number one most anticipating fighting game I'm looking forward to in 2015 is none other than Mortal Kombat X. And now I know a lot of people are looking forward to this game and I can understand why. It's the first next gen entry in the Mortal Kombat series. On top of that, it looks phenomenal and I like how they're using the Injustice fighting system that they use for injustice on this game and it just looks super fun I'm gonna love playing this game a lot with my brothers because my because my brother he's a big Mortal Kombat fan and he's a big Scorpion fan so I'm gonna love playing this with him every once in a while and one of the things I'm liking is that they're adding a bunch of other non Mortal Kombat characters to the game such as Jason Voorhees the Predator uh, it's just really great and the fandom has really grown uh, and this is going to be a phenomenal fighting game. They're even added new realities to the game, like they're bringing back the brutalities. They're they're, they're bringing back an an reality for when you quit a match online. They're bring, it just looks freaking phenomenal, and I'm looking forward to this to this game. This is on everybody's list for probably most anticipated fighting game for 2015. So I'm just looking forward to it, and then that, and that's just, oh my God, it's going to be phenomenal. All right, everybody, that was my top five games that I'm looking forward to in 2015. Guys, leave a comment below of what your top five most anticipated fighting games for 2015 is. And don't forget to like this video and share it and subscribe. Until the next video, people, this has been Uncle Shadow's Let's Play saying God bless, take care, and peace out. Catch you guys later.